Beware before you invest in Radio Shack. You see, Radio Shack was closed off in 2015 and again it is trying to come back to life. But the thing about Radio Shack's new arrival is that it's being owned by Ty Lopez. The thing about Ty Lopez is that Radio Shack might not be the crypto project that you think might be. The thing about Ty Lopez jumping into one trend to another is that he is obviously a good marketer, digital marketer. But the thing is that the ones who suffer the most will be you and me, will be the general retail investors and the end customers who consume or else try to listen to their advices. You should invest if you have more and more disposable income only. The thing about Radio Shack right now, what you can take advantage is that just go to farms and provide liquidity. You can provide liquidity for Spice USD and USDC. You can earn 200% of return for providing liquidity in Radio Shack. The best thing about Dexes is that the arbitrage, which means the one who provides liquidity for buyers and sellers, in they can earn free crypto tokens, valuable crypto tokens of that particular DEX in return for providing liquidity and then they can sell it off so you can earn about 1754 radio tokens for free if you provide liquidity for spice usd and usdc if you just provide liquidity for radio token you can earn 14035 radio token per day so deposit fee for spice usd and usdc is zero percent but you have 200 percent annualized return but you can earn more and more with providing your radio token as liquidity. You can just buy radio tokens and earn more radio tokens on top of it. You just have to stake your radio tokens and you can earn up to 14,035 with 88% annualized return, which means obviously you will have to buy at least around 5,000 to 10,000 worth of radio tokens so that you can earn up to 14,035 radio tokens per day. So you will have to buy at least a worth of say 500 to 750 dollars. So if you sp invest 750 or 500 dollars at least to buy radio tokens, then you can buy at least you will have at least. 18,000 to provide as liquidity to stake in Radio Shack and then you can obviously earn 14,000 per day. So it's not a bad deal but if you want to hit in it, hit it and quit it, you can use Radio Shack for now. Everything is at a gray point here. So if you want to invest, you can invest but you can only invest if you want to take risk or else if you want to be a arbitrator or if you are a liquidity provider then only i suggest you to invest else don't invest in it if you don't have the balls to take risk it is obviously present in multiple blockchains so it's good that it's present under multiple blockchains almost most of the popular blockchains including chronos and aurora and cello so most of the crypto coins don't do that so the steps are good not bad it is not bad but the trading volume is low people are not trusting it but you can still earn more if you can provide liquidity or you can stake your radio tokens and then when you are done when you can understand that you can earn more by selling it or else you are done that you won't take more risk then obviously you can earn radio tokens by staking and then you can sell it off so it might reach till 0.12 usd to one dollars maybe three dollars at max because those digital marketers will be actually promoting it so many newbie investors will be investing in so you can do it but beware don't invest blindly only invest if you can afford to lose your money only do it if you can else don't don't
You can take advantage so that you can earn free radio tokens by investing in radio tokens or else by providing liquidity because that is what arbitragers do. So that is what you can do. You can earn free tokens and then just sell it if you want. Would I invest? <laughs> well, I don't because I don't have funds, especially if I had funds, I would invest. But still, I won't. I would be you know, a little skeptical in investing it if I had to invest in it. I would just buy radio tokens and earn radio tokens on it by staking it and then that's it. I won't be providing liquidity for USDC and SPICE USD too as providing or staking radio tokens is more profitable. So tell me what do you think? Are you going to buy radio tokens or not? Till then subscribe to Virtual Cryptic.